in our first few months of dating, we did a lot of bookish things together. But one of our first things that we did, just like to hang out with each other, we went to the Amazon bookstore. Amazon had only recently at that time opened up an in-person bookstore in Manhattan. Can I say hi? You can say hi, of course. Say hi. Hi. Hi, friends. Hi, friends. How are you? I'm good. You are good. It's good to see your friends. Tell them I'm feeling better. I'm feeling better. Today is Friday. Today is Friday. Yes, it is. <laughs> You're excited for the weekend? TGIF. F for Friday. Yeah. All right, go. Go feed your baby. Hi, friends. Welcome back to my channel. We're here today for day eight slash day nine off of Vlogmas. So it's day eight on our Vlogmas calendar, but today is actually December 9th. So today is my wedding anniversary. Four years of wedded bliss because while every moment isn't perfect, all the moments together add up to the perfection of just being with someone who you're completely in sync with. Like... My husband is the male version of me. And I know they say opposites attract, but I think the, in terms of people, similar people attract too. Like there's a lot of balance. There's a lot of, there are a lot of things that I'm not good at. And that those are the, those are the areas in which my husband shines. So we complement each other. There are things that he's, I mean, he's perfect. But there are places where I, where I compliment him is what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy to be married. Very happy that four years ago he said, I do. And I said, I do too. Or the other way around. In any case, yeah. So today we are celebrating a little bit. When my husband and I met, Amazon had only recently opened in person bookstores in Manhattan. And one of the first places that we ever went to hang out, we went to the Amazon bookstore together. Um, we had dates. I mean, you know, we went for dinner. I don't, I can't recall if we ever watched a movie. Yeah, I guess we had a movie night while we were dating. We're, like, we're not big movie people, but we had dinner. We went to go see live music, that kind of thing. Um, lots of live music. <laughs> that was more our thing then. But books, bookstores, library, author readings, those are the things that we did when we were dating, is what I'm saying. And so today's clip is an old clip. It is from one of those hangout dates where we went to the Amazon bookstore at Columbus Circle in Manhattan. And I told him about my, my inclination to play the game. How many of these books have you read? How many of the books have I read? I don't know if I made a video about it back then. So we're going to review this footage. My husband is not going to appear in the video because he prefers to not be in the videos, which, which is fine. This, we just talk about him, right? <laughs> so in the video, I'm going to show you all the books that were on the shelves back then. And I'll interrupt, I guess, to tell you which of these books I've read. So you may need to watch the video twice. You may need to watch this video twice is what I'm saying in order for you to tell me how many books you've read because I may just disturb your count while I'm talking. So we'll play the video. <laughs> Say hi. Hi friends. Hi friends. How are you doing? I'm good. You are good? You're feeling better? Yeah, say I'm feeling better. I'm feeling better. I'm feeling much better. I tricked my mommy today. I tricked my mommy today. Yeah, you did. Okay. All right. Oh. But today's Friday. Today's Friday. So you have the entire weekend. Monday morning wow. you'll be back in school. Wow. <laughs> Stay tuned for footage of Amazon bookstore in December twenty eighteen. And let me know how many of these books you've read. Um, Are you going to pull a disappearing trick? Okay. I'm going to be a superhero. You're going to be a superhero? <laughs> so now you're a superhero? Okay. <laughs> What's your superhero power? Uh, I'm a bat. You're a Batman? Okay, all right. 
Go, go be Batman. <laughs> okay. So as we start the video, I see Shino Ashida's Things Fall Apart, which I have read. Call Me By Your Name, I have not read. Stay With Me by Ayobami Adobeo, I have read. Americana by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie, I have read. Half of a Yellow Sun, I have not. Isabel Allende's In the Midst of Winter, no. Mitch Albom's The Next Person You Meet in Heaven, no. The Magic Strings of Frankie Pesto, no. Friday Black, no. But I have read White Tiger by Aravind Adiga, that's a Booker Prize winner. Salt Houses, that's a no for me. Daughter of the Dragon, that's a no for me. Traveling Cat Chronicles, I have not read. The Woman on the Orient Express, I have not read. Trans Transcription by Kate Atkinson, no. Frederick Backman's, I have not read Us Against You, but I did read Bear Town. Have read Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice, The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. I have read, but I haven't read Alias Grace. Britt Marie was here, I haven't read, but I did read My Grandmother Asked Me to Tell You She's Sorry, I haven't read A Man Called Uva. I think I own a copy. <laughs> the Storyteller's Secret, I have not read. James Baldwin, Giovanni's Room, I have not read. But I did read If Bill Street Could Talk, I read that earlier this year. The House at the Edge of the Night, that's a no for me, haven't read it, don't know this title. The Sellout by Paul Betty, I have... I have read, actually read that twice. That's a Booker Prize winner as well. The Paris Architect, I have not read. City of Thieves by David Benioff, I have not read. The Hearts Invisible Few is by John Boyne. I feel like I've read because I've owned a copy for a long time, but I'm not sure. That William Boyd novel, Love is Blind, no. When I'm Gone, no. Evening in Paradise, that's a no for me. The Immortalists by Chloe Benjamin, I have not read. Well, that's a no. It doesn't mean that I'm saying no, ne anything negative about the book, but I haven't read it. That book that we just passed, those two books, no. Lucky Man, no. Marriage, Vacation, no. Cinnamon and Gunpowder, no. Master and the Master Margarita by Mikhail Bulgakov, I have not read. A Dog's Way Home, I haven't read. I haven't read anything from that series. Calvino's book, I have not. Books, I haven't read Invisible City or Invi Invisible Cities or If on a Winter's Night a Traveler, no. Becoming Mrs. Lewis, no. The Lost Words Bookshop, no. I did read The Stranger by Albert Camus. The Trouble with Ghosts and Sheep, that's a no for me. Little by Edward Carey. The House by the Lake by Ella. Ella Carey and Paris Time Capsule, I haven't read any of those. What We Lose by Zinzi Clemens, I have not read. Everyone Brave is Forgiven, that's a no. But I did read The House on Mango Street. I have not read The Amazing Adventures of Cavalier Clay, no. Don Quixote, I started reading years ago, never finished it. So that's a no for me. Blind Kiss, I have not read. A lot of these... Um, they're interesting to see here, but I haven't read them. The Hamilton Affair, no. The Alchemist, I read. I read that a long time ago. Hippie by Paulo Coelho, I have not read. I've only read one other thing by Paulo, Paulo Coelho. The Bookshop on the Corner, I have not read. And War of the Wolf, I have not read. Bernard Cornwell. When Never Comes, I have not read. Vox, I have not read. I've been intrigued, but I haven't picked it up. My Lady's Choosing, no for me. An interactive romance novel, I think that's interesting. The Girl with No Name, I have not read. The German Girl, I have not read. Matchmaking for Beginners, I have not read. The Course of Love by Ellen the Button, I have a copy and I started reading it some time ago. I never finished, so that's a no. The Air You Breathe, no. Um, French Exit, no. But I did read The Brief Wondrous Life of Oscar Wilde. That was a book club pick uh, earlier this year as well. But I read it before. It's a Pulitzer Prize winner. America's First Daughter, I haven't read. Another Blind Kiss copy. Crime and Punishment, I read recently. Last Bus to Wisdom, no. All the Light We Cannot See, no. Ragtime, no. I haven't read anything by E.L. Doctorow, but I probably want to check that author out at some point. My Dear Hamilton, no. Gone So Long, no. Washington Black, is he a Dujian? I have read. Manhattan Beach, Jennifer Egan, no. This book is this book of this author, like they're speaking to me. Your Duck is My Duck, no. Middlesex by Jeffrey Eugenides, no. The Girl Who Wrote in Surf, no. Virgil Wonder, no. Silence, no. Invisible Man by Ralph Ellison, no. Haven't read that yet. Someday. Someday. Paris Echo, I have not read, but I did read the Neapolitan novels. So yes, for my brilliant friend, and yes, for the story of a new name. I did read The Great Gatsby, The Column of Fire, no. Chronicle of a Death 
foretold yes some stones to stand or fall no the intermission no a marker for beginners no and a well-behaved woman no it can't open 100 years of solitude <laughs> no yes i have read 100 years of solitude the best american short stories um 2018 no the lighthouse keeper's daughter no the splendor before the dark no a terrible country no all ever wanted no i don't think i've read anything about emily giffen or maybe one thing but it was a long time ago rust and stardust no all the ugly and wonderful things no sunshine sisters no the home for unwanted girls no lord of the flies i have read less i have read spoonbenders no the other bowling girl no i feel like i read it a long time ago but i'm not sure so no no i don't think so the proposal no the wedding date no the forgetting time no the great alone yes firefly lane no exit west yes trinity no the curious instant of the dog in the night time yes home going yes and is that it uh, that's it that's it so that was a clip from a bookish date that my husband and i went on four years ago thank you so much for watching i read 27 of these titles would love to know your score down below some of these are popular most of these i think are popular titles they are kind of contemporary titles so maybe you've read them maybe you haven't but if you have been to the amazon bookstore the amazon in-person bookstore would love to know about your experience there if you have a story please share that in the comments as you can see i went on a bookish date there and i married the guy <laughs> so <laughs> would love to know your experiences and you know if you don't go to if you don't patronize amazon if you go to a bookstore and you want to share a bookish story with me and the other viewers would love to know that as well so yeah thank you so much for watching and we'll be back soon with another video until then happy reading bye bye <laughs> i love you you got paint on your fingers okay oops oops